Hi friends, how are ya? Welcome back to my channel for the first sip and thrift episode a la my style of 2023. I did one of these male version styling my boyfriend, but um, I have been dying to check out thrifting for things that I enjoy and I haven't done that in quite some time. So if you've never seen this series before, it's basically we go on some sort of thrifting adventure and then we also stop at a coffee shop try out a new spot and get something caffeinated along the way. I was, you know, doing my research this morning and I'm currently in Oceanside, but there's a little town three minutes away called Carlsbad and it looks like there's several vintage and thrift stops in that kind of area that we could check out. It's currently 10 a.m. A lot of places don't open till 11, but I say we actually start with a resale store, kind of more on the Oceanside side called Quality Resale. That is open now. And then at 11, there's something in Carlsbad called Double Take, which is also more of a thrift store kind of vibe. Then, you know, depending on how lucky we are, we could check out a vintage store, which means cuter stuff, higher price point. So let's start with the thrift. I'm excited. Okay, let's go. just pulled up to quality resale store in Oceanside. And uh, from the outside, it looks like it's all furniture. So confidence is very low that we'll find any clothes, but um, we can run in and check it out anyways and see what, see what it's like before it's almost 11. So we can go to the clothing spots after this, but maybe we'll get lucky. A little bit of clothes but not a lot so I think it is a strikeout it's mostly you know t-shirts men's things and I really am looking for some sweaters is like personally what I would love to find so if we leave right now we get to the other spot when it opens at 11 let's head on over to Carl's pad we've made it to Carl's pad just in time for it to open and look at how cute it is from the outside it's the type of spot where I feel like you'd find one amazing thing, but not a ton of great things, if that makes sense. So I already have an idea for stop three, which is apparently there's an uptown cheapskates here, which is exciting, but let's start here. Let's go see. Oh no, what a fail. Temporary hours. They don't open for another hour, but let's see if we can peek. It looks pretty cool in there. I wonder if we can go to Uptown, see what we find, and have this be our plan C if we strike out. Uptown Cheapskate is open, and I feel like they're kind of Buffalo Exchange, if you haven't seen it, Austin has one. So people sell their clothes, and they, they don't take everything, they pick, so it's easier to find cute things quickly. It is 15 minutes away, but maybe that's just where we find everything, and if not, we'll come back here by the time it's open at noon. This has been, you know, when you're thrifting in a new spot that's not your normal spot, there's a lot of trial and error and learning the lay of the land. I walk in and I'm immediately drawn to two things. This sweater, it's bold for me. It has like a confetti almost kind of yarn in it so it has some color i'm looking for sweaters that are a bit more cropped because i'm tired of like tucking all of my sweaters this cardigan it's just really soft and each of these are like 12 bucks give or take so i'm holding on to it but i'm gonna see if i can find not just cream colored things because that's what i always do these are so cute and brand new um i don't need them so i'm gonna pass but i mean i don't need anything i guess but i don't really Need more shoes to take back to Texas. But those are very cute and they have a couple of them. Okay, I just found this. It's the softest material I've ever felt. I don't know this brand, Priana, but it's new with tags. It still has the $99 tag on it and they have it for 30, which, you know, 
It's pricey, but not for new with tags. And this would be so nice for morning walks with Max, like kind of athleisure, comfy, cozy, super warm. And it's a fun little like multicolor situation. But like, what's it called? Where it's monochromatic. There we go, where it's all like the different shades of the same color. I'm gonna hold on to it. Look at this Levi's jacket I just found. It's embroidered. It's so beachy and cute. Oh, I don't, I'm wearing, I'm wearing a denim jacket right now, but very different. We got five things. I feel like that is a good amount for a haul. The thing is, is I feel like I know I'm gonna like two of them. <laughs> and then the rest are kind of like a little bit of a wild card. I hope I didn't waste it. I don't know the return policy here, but I wanna try it on at home with y'all to like really be able to talk through it and get a feel for it for you. But first, we're gonna go to a coffee shop. There's a spot I keep hearing a lot about called Lofty Coffee out here, and I hear mixed reviews. Some people are like, the coffee's not great, but best acai bowls. And some people are like, best coffee I've had. And looks like they have matcha. So there's one just seven minutes away, uh, the opposite direction of going back home, but that's okay. Uh, let's go see it. Let's go explore because the other Lofty Coffee that's en route, I think I know that the parking stuff cold over there. So I'd rather like drive further and not have to stress about parking. <laughs> Who knew we'd have such a matcha theme? First, they have this thing called matcha mint and milk, and it's basically what it sounds like. I got it with oat milk. The thing is, is it comes pre-sweetened and they can't adjust it. So if you watch my channel, you know I don't like my matcha too sweet. A kiss is okay, but I actually like it unsweetened. So let's see. Oh, that is perfect. It is hardly sweet at all. I know it's sweetened with honey, if you've never tried mint in your matcha before, it's a game changer, but this is clearly fresh mint, not just like a peppermint syrup. I, there is a mint leaf in it too. And that just is really refreshing and nice. I don't make the rules. If there's a gluten-free donut, I, I get it. They make all of their baked goods from scratch, fresh, daily. And look at how beautiful this, oh, I squished it. It was so pretty. It had like dried rose and pistachio on it. And it looks like the good type of glaze that hardens. That's another thing I look for is um, I don't want the glaze sticky. I want it to be a little bit t hard to the touch. So let's give it a bite. Gluten-free matcha donut. What? Look at that. Look at that. This was so worth the 20 minute drive. I'm so impressed. I'm speechless, <laughs> but let's go home. Let's try on the clothes. Let's try on. I think there's a few things that would look really good with this turtleneck underneath. And so I want to start with those because it's just easiest. Um, first, let's start with something really safe and then we'll get into the more interesting things. This, I just really liked. It's a cropped sweater. It is soft, it is simple. The brand is Mi Ami, A-M-I, and I looked it up. I can only find it on ThreadUp. So I don't think it's in existence anymore and it does not seem like a pricey brand at all. Um, but it was just soft looking and could be fun with like a turtleneck moment. Let's see, let's just try it on. Do I have too many white fluffy soft things in my wardrobe already? Yes. First impression on this is kind of mixed thoughts. This does feel cheaply made. Like even just the buttons are, are barely hanging on. You, it's just not like something that will probably last me a very long time just with wear and tear. But my other thought is this is kind of exactly what I was looking for. Like it hits in a really flattering, place with my more high-waisted tight pants, whereas most of my other sweaters hit me more here and I have to tuck them to make them feel like they like show off my pants a little, um, and it will match a lot of different things. I don't know about this turtleneck with it, but even just like a regular undershirt with it I think is very cute, especially on the days where it's not quite as chilly. I think for what I spent, which is $12.99, it, it's a great find. It's a great find. If I spent more than that, I don't think it's gonna last a super long time. So, you know, I feel like this is just an awesome find. It is, it's pretty beachy, like the pattern and the colors of the embroidery on the back. And so sometimes I get very into the spot that I am. For example, being in New York, I was like, I need more like black coats and things like that. And now being here, I'm like, I need more linen pants and beachy prints 
which I'm gonna go back to live in Texas. So I need to stop being so influenced by where I am. But I feel like this is just a great jacket. It has the Levi patch on the inside. I'm trying to remember how much it was. $30, but new. This would definitely be, what, $100 at least? So I'm excited to see how it fits. And I don't have any light wash denim jackets. This is the only denim jacket I think I have actually. Yeah, it is. And it is like very deep blue. So let's see. Okay, this makes this whole video worth it alone. <gasps> I really love the fit of it. Someone had already cuffed the sleeves, but I kind of I kind of dig it. I like the sleeves cuffed. I like how it is between like a denim and like almost a whitewash. It could kind of read either way. And I feel like I could wear it with just like darker denim pants and it wouldn't be weird. Or I could wear it with white pants and it wouldn't be weird. But with like these rust pants, it's kind of perfect. I guess the pattern on the back is a little more vibrant than these rust pants, but <sighs> it's very fall, winter, spring, like three seasons of the year. I could probably whip this out one way or another, just depending on how I layer it, what I wear with it. So I feel like this was a win. Quite possibly will be my favorite thing from this whole haul. This is the wildest wild card of them all. As I was driving home, I was like, I think I actually regret this purchase. Um, this is the Chico's top. This brand, I feel like they know their target demographic and it is not me and they like do so good for their, their audience, which is typically older ladies. And I just want to try to rock this. I think I can with like a turtleneck situation and some like really funky pants and I don't know. I think it's possible. The only thing that might be hard is this length of sleeve. Like most of my teachers growing up, most of my elementary school teachers who were in their 50s, 60s, for some reason they always wore this length of sleeve. I don't know why that is, but maybe, maybe I can pull it off. I like the concept of the pattern, but then the longer I look at the pattern, the less I actually like it. Let's just give it a good old college try. Hmm. It, um, it's kind of giving, I stole this from my boyfriend. The thing is, I do like the length. I've been kind of liking longer shirts that cover my hips and butt a little bit. I feel like it gives a very cool girl vibe, almost like a more boxy fit, not as form fitting. And I've just felt comfortable in that lately. And I like the way it looks. I like the way it looks from other people. But I think, I think this isn't it. It was a good, a good try. As with all these things, I love to read your thoughts in the comments on Sip and Thrifts because it is so not personal. <laughs> it's not personal to me. You could say I hate everything and I'm like, cool. Or you could say I love everything and I'm like, cool. So it doesn't offend me, but I would love to know what you think. Is there anything creative I could do with this to revive it and make it more me? Or is it just a lost cause? Okay, this, I'm not like, this is my style. This is the most Mikel thing I've ever seen. No, I just think this is gonna be very practical to have. I've been so chilled on morning walks and my coats are all like nicer coats, except for I have one, like the Free People Dolman jacket. I'm sure you've seen it, it's that quilted jacket. That's the only one that can kind of be athleisure-y. It's just more casual. But with leggings, I don't really have anything to wear and keep warm. This even has a hood. So I just think this is practical. I wish I could show you how soft it is. Feels like a barefoot dreams blanket when you get them new. And then I just really think that this brand looks cool. Like they seem very intentional, clothing for positive change. They talk all about their sustainability movement. We stand by our goods. Even the tags are 98% post-consumer fiber paper using vegetable based inks. So just seems like a good cozy practical thing. Let's try it on. This is so warm and soft and cozy and just like i said practical i like how it's a little something different like the like the color monochromatic color blocking kind of situation that we have going on also let's just give this hoodie a good old test wow yep i could be so nice and warm on early morning beach walks with max in this <laughs> i could also just see myself wearing this like snuggy style at night around the house when i'm chilly and want to have a blanket on me at all times the length i want it to go further but the width of the bottom won't go further because my hips so i wish it was either a little more crop and it was like this is what it is or it would go out a little so that i could actually like pull it down but maybe i could crop it with these drawstrings Let's see. Oh, look, ask and you shall receive. Okay, I'll take this hood off because I know that I look ridiculous. That's kind of nice. She's cozy. And when she's cozy, 
she's happy. And when she's happy, she gets matcha. Okay, this also on the drive home, I was like, maybe I shouldn't have gotten that because I want to be the kind of person that rocks a confetti type sweater, but I don't know if I am. <laughs> and the colors in it are literally every color. There's yellow, green, blue, purple, red, pink, orange, every, every color that you could ever imagine. Um, we will see if I can make this feel like me. And if not, I will say, one point for the sleeves. I love that the confetti little pattern stops. I think it would just be a little more overwhelming if it was everywhere, so it's nice to have like a little reprieve from it. The length, I thought it would be a little more cropped. Thankfully, I live in these tanks. I've been wearing those set of bras for like a couple months now, but um, that's how I make things fit a little more cropped as I tuck them into the tank instead of into my pants, and it just holds it in place a little bit better. I do love, the balloon sleeve like this silhouette of sleeve i have loved this whole year i keep buying that type of sleeve would love any thoughts from you as to how to style this like paint me an outfit paint me a full outfit would i do like wide leg i don't know the whole thing the shoes the pants the would i would, would i do a jacket i don't know i just kind of need help with this one because i do think it has potential i do think it's fun maybe i would even wear it often because it's comfortable it's very comfortable it's warm it's soft it's not itchy as soon as the sweater scratchy i just game over i'm not gonna wear it and it's not scratchy at all so i think i just need your help with this one i'll be reading and checking thank you in advance these really are a treat for me because it's just a feel good fun video so thank you for being here and supporting this series there is a man watching me from the window drinking a water bottle. We just made eye contact for 10 whole seconds. Wow. Okay. Um, if you enjoy supporting my channel, an easy way to do that is clicking the subscribe button. If you enjoy watching and you aren't already subscribed, that would be just a gift. And I appreciate that very much. But thanks for hanging out with me today and going on fun adventures. What's better? At least selfishly for me, nothing. <laughs> I love y'all. I hope you have the best rest of your day, and I'll see you in a video very soon. Bye. So let's take all night, all night, all night, all night.